Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Basics the Strong Roots. My name is Richa Yadav and today we will discuss the topic Profit and Loss Account and its format. But before we start, a big sorry to all of you because this time we are meeting a bit late just because my throat was disturbed and I wasn't able to speak continuously. So without wasting our time, let's start. Yes, so before we start, let's uh, take a quick recap of our last video. In last video, we discussed about trading account of a company. So in trading account, at last we get either gross loss or gross profit. So with that particular amount, we uh, start preparing the profit and loss account for a company. And in trading account, we add all the expenses which are re directly related with the manufacturing of a particular product for a company. So those all are recorded in the trading account and we add opening stock, closing stock, purchases and sales. These are the you know uh, big figures of a particular trading account. So uh, we, uh, when we get gross loss and gross profit, we will start making the profit and loss account for a company. So before starting, I just want to show the format of profit and loss account to all of you. So this is the profit and loss account format for a company. So I have written here profit and loss account and for the year ending as we are in the year 2021, 31st March 2021, as I already told you, financial year can be can be end on any month depends on the company's policies it could be 30th september it could be 31st august it could be 31st december okay so the columns are particulars you can add one column here reference i have taken two amounts of rupees this is the debit side and credit side will be having the same columns particular reference rupees and rupees so first column of rupees is for the calculation and the second column of rupees is for the net amount but if you want you can you can do the calculation in particulars itself so you don't need to uh, take two columns here you can take only one column and you will show the calculation in particulars but this is the you know safe way to prepare profit and loss account because then you can show your calculations clearly in the first column of the rupees okay so what is profit and loss account profit and loss account from profit and loss account we get the net profit or net loss all the expenses whether it is marketing expenses office expenses and uh, 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 which are related with you know operating expenses uh, which are uh, occurred by a company while operating a business those all expenses come under profit and loss account and if we in these kind of expenses if we receive uh, some kind of uh, you know like commissions discount or if we uh, get any kind, kind of bad debts recovery then we add these things in the credit side of the profit and loss account so the main figure of the company that is called the net profit or net loss we are going to get that main figure in this profit and loss account so you can say this is the most important part of the final accounts of a company so let's start with the format and its figure format i have already told you let's see it once again so this is the format first we will see the credit side this is the credit side so if you will get the profit in the trading account you will note that profit by gross profit and in the net figure of this profit and loss account after that there is written commission received if the business has received any kind of commission that will be would be written in the credit side uh, uh, credit uh, commission is a nominal account and if you will receive the commission that will be credited in the profit and loss account after that there is rent received if a company is receiving any kind of rent then it is it will be written here if the company has received interest as i told you if the company has received a discount on any kind of purchase then it will be written here and uh, there is 
discount from creditors like creditors are those from them we get the money to run our business you know on interest if those creditors provide us some kind of discount that discount we are going to note here and after that discount on purchases if we will write if we are purchasing uh, raw material or uh, something for our uh, company and uh, we get discount on that then that discount received will be credited in the profit and loss account after that interest on drawings so what is before before understanding interest on drawing we should understand what is drawing so drawing is something which a owner takes from the capital so uh, like uh, uh, I have invested some uh, capital say thousand rupees in a business and uh, I have taken uh, around 200 rupees from, ten, from that thousand rupees that would be called drawings if a uh, owner of a business takes an amount from the capital that is called drawings so interest on drawing if he gets interest on drawing like he uh, received the interest on that drawing that particular amount that will be noted in the credit side of the profit and loss account and this uh, interest will be added in the balance sheet and the amount of drawing we are going to deduct from the capital in the balance sheet okay so that there will be recording of the uh, this is going to be recorded in the two sides after that reserve for discount on creditors that is also going to be noted in the credit side of the uh, profit and loss account so what is reserve for discount on creditors if we have maintained a reserved amount that if we will get the discount from creditors that that is our asset that is we have maintained already that is our earnings then we will note it in the credit side of the balance sheet, uh, sorry profit and loss account interest on renewal of bills if we get any kind of interest from on renewal of bills then we will note it on profit and loss account then bad debts recovered and everybody must be understand what is bad debts bad debts is something which is not recovered by the company like i have given thousand rupees to someone and that person did not you know return that amount to me that i will say that is bad debts wo paise dub gaye so if any kind of bad debts that uh, that person again came to me and said uh, take this 200 rupees then those recovered from 1000 at least 200 rupees recovered those 200 rupees I am going to write in the credit side of the profit and loss account as bad debts recovered. Provision for de bad debts a company maintains provisions for bad debts the, this is the safer side like uh, if a uh, company says that uh, that uh, uh, you know debtor is not going to return us the money then maintain a provision for those bad debts so that provision is going to be right we are going to write in the credit side of the profit and loss account then royalty received and after that miscellaneous income and sundry income miscellaneous income is any other income which we will receive then we will uh, write it in the credit side of the profit and loss account and the more specifically royalty received so what is royalty a royalty is uh, could be book royalty or any kind of you know mineral royalty or any other kind of royalty so royalty is something for which a owner gives permission to use his property to some other person and that person gives royalty to that person say let's uh, take the example of book royalty for uh, just like an author an author is writing the book so he uh, has given uh, those uh, that write up to a publisher then a publisher is going uh, said to the author uh, to the author that i will uh, print your book for your writer and i will give you two percent on each book sold like if a book is sold for 500 rupees it's two percent i am going to give you as royalty so the who is the owner of the book actually the owner of the book is the author because he has written the book but the publisher is taking his property his writer and published it 
and selling his uh, book and uh, making money but the author should get something so there was a deal of royalty that on each book sold i will give you two person or three person or five person as settled between uh, both of them they uh, they will get the royalty the author will get the royalty or there is an another example if an owner like a company uh, wants to use a land of an owner then owner said that you can use my land for this particular purpose but i want royalty for against it so if a company is using a particular land or a property you can say machinery or something else then the company will pay the royalty to the owner of that particular asset so if a company is receiving royalty in case the case can be reversed like the company has given its land or machinery or uh, you know a property where uh, something is like uh, minerals are getting extracted from uh, that particular land then uh, the company will get royalty for that particular land from those people who are using that land so this is something which is noted down as royalty received in the credit side of the profit and loss account so now we will move to debit side of the profit and loss account i would request all of you to see it properly okay so let's start with gross loss if we will get the gross loss in the trading account we will note it down in the debit side of the profit and loss account as two gross loss after that office and administrative expenses all the operating expenses which a company is occurring in in its office and the administration charges all will be recorded in the debit side of the profit and loss account and those expenses are salaries of the employees rent rates and taxes postage and telegram like uh, posting something posting something and telephone charges telephone uh, other mandatory things for an office and printing and stationery if a company is uh, printing something like pamphlets and uh, you know uh, the final records and something for uh, its clients office electricity the electricity charges that bill the insurance if a um, um, uh, company has maintained any kind of insurance the insurance expenses will be uh, noted down in the debit side of the profit and loss, loss account then legal charges any kind of legal charges which are occurred uh, during the legal activities those will be recorded in the debit side of the profit and loss account then after that marketing and selling expenses any kind of exp expenses which are related with marketing and selling advertisements those will be come in the marketing and selling activities of the profit and loss account that that is freight outward as i discussed with you in the last video freight outward is nothing but the traveling expenses which a company occurred while sending the product to the consumer from you can uh, say that the from supplier to the consumer if uh, that product uh, is uh, reaching to the consumer that cost is known as freight outward and that will be recorded as the uh, freight outward or traveling expenses in the profit and loss account depends on the what company wants then salaries again salaries of the marketing employees who are engaged in the marketing activities advertisement expenses go down rent if a company has owned any kind of go down on rent then go down rent will be recorded in the debit side commission paid if commission is everywhere like uh, if uh, a company has paid any kind of commission or uh, you know it has to pay commissions then that those commission paid will be recorded in the debit side of the profit and loss account uh, after that discount allowed if a company has given the discount on sales you can say or any other thing then discount allowed or given will be recorded in the debit side and then bad debts as i told you bad debts we that um, the amount which we have not recovered from our debtors that is called as bad debts and we will record it in the debit side of the profit and loss account after that financial and other expenses financial and other expenses uh, expenses related with bank you can call bank charges like uh, 
if you have uh, bank charges like maintaining account they charge annual charges that will come under bank charges interest paid if you have paid any kind of interest that comes under the you know uh, banking uh, final accounts especially and depreciation depreciation is nothing but the, you know the uh, evaluation of a uh, machinery for a company and each year the company uh, the machinery of a company depreciates and each year there is a valuation of that uh, particular machinery and that particular amount with, with which the machinery is depreciates that amount is noted down in the profit and debit side of the profit and loss account then repairs and maintenance in the factory if you have uh, you are owning a factory then there is repair and maintenance charges will be occurred uh, like uh, you know to maintain the machinery and uh, any kind of repair if you are doing it can be done in the office offices also after that audit fees for uh, uh, auditing charges you can say auditing charges or audit audit fees if a company is paying audit charges then that that will be recorded in the debit side and after that loss by theft accident and fire like if loss by th theft loss by accident and loss by fire these are something which are not in our hand and we cannot recover these things or this amount so we have to note down these expenses in the debit side of the profit and loss account and after that if we will get the profit then that will be in the credit side of the profit and loss account and if we will get the net loss that will be noted in the debit side of the profit and loss account hope you all understand this and uh, if you uh, see any kind of uh, you know confusion and uh, you are not getting anything then please uh, write down in the comment section and uh, so this is it from my side for profit and loss account and its format and like share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon because whenever you will press the bell icon then you will get the notifications of my new videos stay happy and healthy bye bye take care